so I'm back in Kumamoto. I had a really good month back in America and it honestly was a shame that I had to come to an end. But all's not lost. But as you know, I practice kendo. And um, back in April, I took the Shodan kendo test and I failed. So this past Sunday, I had my second Shodan test. My revenge. That's what they call it in Japan. You fail the first time, you go back, you try again. Revenge. I passed. I'm now Shodan. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. That's one cool thing about what's going on in my life. I think, hmm, I think there's one more good thing about my life going on. I'm not going to tell you right out. You got to guess. I'm going to give you one hint and then I'm going to tell you. This is Rudoni Kenshin. There is a manga like this and then there is an anime. And then, as of last year, there was a movie. There's a second movie being filmed in Yamaga, next door to Kumamoto. I'm an extra. Yeah, I know. I'm not going to have any lines or any acting or anything, but I'm going to be in Western-style clothing on a movie set. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to meet Sato, Takeru, or any of the other actors that are going to be part of this film, but I can tell you that I am insanely happy about being able to be a part of this. It's just really good experience and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Why do they need foreigners? Rurouni Kenshin takes place in the Meiji period and so with that said, at least in Tokyo, they did allow merchants and some tourists to come to Japan who are from, you know, the western world. So me and a couple of my friends were going to Yamaga this weekend and we're going to be on set. <laughs> oh yes, and one more announcement. Because I got my showdown, yesterday my sensei called me and he told me, you have an interview. So on Thursday I'm going to have an interview. I guess I'll take this moment to say, hi mom, love you. Grandma, love you too. Denny, you can't hear this, but if you can read lips, miss ya.